Welcome back. Before you can refund anything in Counter, you'll need a sale. Let's place one now. Now you can head to the History tab to find the order you need to refund. By default, today's sales will appear. However, you can also filter through your sales history to find an old order to refund if you need to. Hit Filter to search this period. Select the order you need to refund. You will now see a big red Refund Sale button appear in the bottom right of the POS screen. You will now be prompted to confirm that this is the order you wish to refund. And you can see which payment type was used for the original sale. Select Refund Sale to confirm. You can select either individual items or the whole order to refund. Select Continue if you are partially refunding, or Refund All to, well, Refund All. You now need to choose a refund reason. These can be changed or added to from the Refund Reasons add-on settings page in the back office. Now you simply need to select the payment type to refund to. To track your refunds, you have the option to do so from either the Daily Reconciliation Report, the Refunds Report, or the Audit Report. If you have any questions, simply ask your manager or select Help on any page encounter to reach our 24-hour support team. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for our next video.